is a seven millimeter bolt in the transmission connector adapter for the 722.6 and yeah, this is the cover over the the transmission connector adapter there's a T30 Torx bit or Torx right here there's one in back bit that's a transmission pan don't don't remove that one uh, we'll remove this plate and continue replacing the adapter and that's where the screw was this is the wiring harness that goes up to the transmission control unit there's a little lever on the side of the adapter you push that down it should pull out the transmission adapter and there's oil under there which means the one the o-rings failed which is bad for this one because it's the one that uh, can wick transmission fluid up to the transmission control unit the TCU under the passenger floorboard and start causing transmission problems so we're gonna have to clean this out with I'll probably use a mass airflow sensor cleaner not brake cleaner I don't want it screwing up rubber components or anything on this possibly carb cleaner I probably wouldn't want to use that around here and definitely not in the transmission control unit I have to clean out oil I'd use electronics cleaner but we'll we'll pull out this seven millimeter screw inside there and pull the adapter out now I pulled out the connector. All right. Let's see what well. There's the where it plugs into the conductor plate. You can see the pins up in there. It did leak out to at least a cup of tranny fluid. So I put the cap over there just to catch it so it could not just have tranny fluid dumping all over here. Next, when we install the the new adapter, we have to put the O-rings fell off, so you got to be careful. And also, one of the old O-rings was still sitting up inside there, so make sure you have both the old rings removed and the new O-rings lubed and uh, on the the adapter when you put it back in also it only goes in one way there's a small slot on the one side and the two matching slots so I believe it pretty much goes like this so the small slot is to the left we'll find out when we put it in but we'll be back in a second I didn't tighten up the nut yet, but with the O-rings lubed up, the new one, I just centered it and pushed it right in. This slot right here, it's the only slot, there's two bigger slots, but this one definitely goes to the left. It's installed like right about there with the, the tang pointed right there. So that does line up with that slot right here. So install it like that. Tighten up the seven millimeter and plug plug the wiring right back in. And I push the connector back in. When you tighten up the seven millimeter bolt, snug it up. Otherwise you can you can break through the the plastic on this part of the connector it's not it's less than an eighth inch thick you might be able to break through that so don't tighten it down too much snug it up good uh i used uh right before i put it back in i used the mass air full sensor cleaner to clean the oil off quite a bit of oil seemed to come out of that too so i'm gonna have to check make sure the transmission control unit is up under here underneath the floorboard on the passenger side is uh, 
doesn't have any oil up in it, transmission fluid. But to reinstall this, to disconnect or reinstall, you push this in all the way and just slide this in and it pulls so it snaps to remove it. Pull it down and that, that's able to pull it out right there. So make sure it's in there and sucks it in. Snaps in and that's good right there. We'll put the cover back on and that's wrapped up for this. We're all done now.